I guess most of our attendees are with us. Uh, let's just start a bit talking about the Proxmox, about the backup solutions. So uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Alex Korolets. I'm the solutions engineer here at Starwind. And also I wanted to thank you for participating in today's webinar. So let's talk about, I think, one of the important topics in 2024, uh, that's the Proxmox hypervisor and the backups from the Proxmox and the, the production environment from the Proxmox. Uh, by the way, you can type type questions during the, uh, the webinar in our Q&A session. So I will be more than happy to answer all the questions uh, during the session. And yeah, so let's start. Um, so first of all, we will talk a bit about the Proxmox virtual environment as an alternative to VMware. Uh, we will also talk about the Proxmox backup options, how we can actually backup the Proxmox. Um, and we can also talk a bit about the Proxmox backup server deployment scenarios as one of the actual options for backing up the Proxmox virtual environment. And then I will show you some of the demo things. Um, so it will be a demo stand uh, with the Proxmox hypervisor and also the Proxmox backup server. And we'll try to just create some storage, create and test the backups, and also talk a bit about what we can possibly tweak uh, within the Proxmox backup server to make it a bit more secure or even more secure. So it has some some options to, to discuss actually. And afterwards, so the Q&A session, so you can simply ask all your questions regarding the uh, today's topic and not only regarding that. So any other questions regarding Starwind side of things? So you might ask them. Right, okay. So first of all, um, pretty sure that you guys are already aware of uh, or, or even kind of conscious um, of the things with VMware and Broadcom lately. Um, so nothing has changed since our last discussion of this situation. So Broadcom continues sticking to their line when it comes to product licensing and pricing changes. And um, a lot of customers report that they are not, not so happy with the VMware's acquisition by Broadcom, all the changes that obviously makes a negative impact on on their business, actually. So it's quite obvious uh, the businesses are exploring alternatives to VMware, uh, such as Microsoft Hyper-V, KVM, and XCPNG-based hypervisors. Um, and by the way, um, so we hosted some webinars around this topic recently, so if you're interested to see how the different hypervisors compare to each other, Starwind works on various hypervisors, you're welcome to check out our um, official YouTube channel or our webinar, uh, or, or sorry, uh, the website for more webinars and technical documentation. So yeah, so back to our topic. So there is a uh, also kind of like one more popular alternative um, to those hypervisors I was mentioning a bit earlier. So that is the Proxmox virtual environment that uh, started a lot of discussions and considerations lately. So uh, as you probably remember, our previous webinar was also about the Proxmox and how it differentiates from other hypervisors. But at the end of the day, there is one crucial aspect of the uh, Proxmox ecosystem that you usually don't think about. So these are the backups. So if you're running kind of industry standard, industry leading hypervisors, such as VMware or Hyper-V, you might even never thought about the limited support of the backup software because kind of both of these hypervisors are widely, widely uh, supported by any backup software available on the markets, right? And uh, with the VMware Broadcom situation, uh, kind of more and more businesses started looking at any available alternatives to VMware. At some point, the question of backups arises. So what's out there? And with the Proxmox, it obviously becomes clear that 
um, it only supports its own backup solution on edge and less basis. So the native backup um, functionality. And there is no other agentless backup support of Proxmox from the backup vendors, at least yet. Um, so yeah, what, what actually, what are the backup strategies are available for the Proxmox environment? So in today's business environment, organizations are turning to powerful backup solutions such as Beam, some other vendors like Veritas, Altaro, Commvault solution, others uh, to ensure the protection of their operational data. But as I said previously, so when it comes to Proxmox, these mainstream solutions fall short uh, as they are, they simply, they do not support the agentless backup of the Proxmox uh, V infrastructure yet. And so from what I can, uh, what I stumbled across so far, uh, some of the backup vendors already announced Proxmox support. So for example, the well-known and extremely popular Veeam, uh, which by the way, I covered on our previous webinar as well. So what will be there? The Veeam support of Proxmox is announced to be released this year as stated by the company. And also there are another player on the market. I also stumbled across that announced support of Proxmox is the Nekibo company. Yet there are no ETAs, but uh, they stated will be there soon something like that. But anyway, kind of like, I just want to mention that you can actually uh, use those uh, solutions like Veeam or with the, with the Proxmox already, but on the, on the agent basis, uh, what it means. So you will need a backup agent installed on every virtual machine of yours. So uh, one agent per virtual machine. And obviously that's not the best option in terms of setup and ease of management, but it's still it works, so you might consider that as a possible option. But personally, I not consider that if I have, for example, a lot of virtual machines with my production environment. So that can work, for example, with five VMs, uh, and the management of those will be quite easy, but not with the 30, 40, 50 VMs or something like that. So um, anyway, while kind of waiting for that backup software support let's have a look at the native backup solution from proxmox you can see on the right of the screen so simply literally on the agentless backup solution for the proxmox hypervisor it is and um, the proxmox backup server or pbs in short our main topic today so just just a little bit of topic on our previous webinar i've shed some light on the pros and cons of the of the pps and i saw a lot of concerns you have you guys have regarding the migration to the proxmox solution so moving existing backup infrastructure means that you need to build it from the scratch with proxmox backup server and for some people who are considering proxmox or like already evaluating Proxmox or even plan to migrate to Proxmox um, and are just waiting for Beam support or any other backup software support. So it might be a beneficial thing to just wait until it will be released. So if you still have a VMware support or perhaps it's still running another hypervisor and are okay with it, so you can just wait. But for people that cannot wait and already in the process of migration, uh, the Proxmox backup server is the way, or as I said before, um, so also the agent-based backups are an option as well. It will be not as convenient as it was before, but it still does the job. 